This is Slime Rancher, which I'm going to take a quick look at now. So let's start straight away. I'm going to load up my current game in progress. And let's have a quick look at my ranch. So the, pip, the aim in Slime Rancher really is to collect slimes like these. These are tabby slimes. You can suck them up with this kind of vacuum cleaner thing you have. And you can spit them back out again somewhere else. Uh, so if you collect these slimes and you feed them something, so tabby slimes eat chickens. Well, they eat meat, which I've got some chickens here. Let's get a couple of chickens. If I feed these to these tabby slimes, then when they eat them, ah, here we go, they'll poo out these little plorts, which you can then suck up. There's another one there. And you can sell them at this market to get some credits. So these are worth uh, 18 credits. And then you can use those credits to upgrade things. So you can upgrade uh, these containers to keep your slimes in. Uh, so you can add roofs to them and higher walls and things like that. Uh, you can build things like chicken coops, like I've done here. You can uh, build little farming areas where you can grow carrots, that's what I'm growing there. Or fruit trees, I think I'm growing a fruit tree up here. And some other things. Let's grab some of that fruit actually. You can also use it to upgrade this vacuum cleaner thing. Um, and you can upgrade other parts of your ranch as well. So there's various different types of slimes. These are tabby slimes. These ones here are a combination of two slimes. They're a combination of pink slimes, which eat anything, and rock slimes, which eat... I can't remember what they eat. I think they eat vegetables. So you can combine two types of slime by feeding them the plort of another slime. Uh, which I can show you now, actually. If I... this is a collector for plorts. If I suck out a pink plort and put it in here, then one of these tabby slimes will eat it and they'll turn into a combination. There we go. Of a cat and a tabby slime. Now, for reasons which I'll explain in a sec, I don't actually want that one in here. So let's suck him. And I think the most humane way to dispose of slimes is pop them in the sea. Because they can swim. There we go. I'm sure that slime will happily swim away to that place. So where do you get these slimes? Well, you get the slimes by exploring the world. So if I go down here, we'll find some slimes in the wild. So this first area has mainly pink slimes in it and some carrots. Looks like they've been eating the carrots and producing lots of plorts. And as you go further out, further away from your ranch, you start finding different types of slimes. So they were still all pink slimes. Ah, here we've got some combination of slimes. Oops. They're the combination of rock and pink slimes that we saw earlier. So that means there were originally some blue rock slimes around here, but they've uh, obviously all the eaten pink plorts and turned into pink ones. They've got a little jack jackpack there, which you just saw. Let's see what's down this way. So this area has a few different types of slimes. There's tabby slimes, there's pink slimes. Anything else around? <coughs> no, nothing else around at the moment. Um, so, and as you go further and further away from your ranch, you start finding more and more types of slime. Ah, and here's a, a Gordo slime, which is a giant slime. So to unlock different areas, you'll find some locked doors. There's one over that bridge somewhere. or well, there was one over that bridge before I opened it. And if you feed these giant slimes uh, enough food, they'll explode and give you a key for the door. 
Oh, that's basically Slime Rancher. It's a game of collecting different types of slimes, taking them back to your farm, farming them for plorts, and then using that money to unlock other things. And that's kind of the basic game loop. I haven't got very far with it, so th there's no spoilers here. I've only, I'm only, I don't know, a few hours into the game, really. And I'm, I don't know, I'm, I can't see me playing it for that much longer. I think the thing I enjoy most is wandering out into the wilderness and just seeing all the slimes going about their everyday business. And then it seems it's a pity that then what I do is pick those slimes up, take them all the way back to my ranch, and lock them up. Oh, here we go. So it's night time. So we've got a new type of slime. Some phosphorus slimes, which only come out at night. Ideally what I'd like is some sort of way to have free-range slimes around your ranch. It's pretty they have to be kept in these little boxes. And you're actively discouraged from allowing them to mix. So if... Um, so if two... if These are a combination of two types of slime. If one of these eats a plort from a third type of slime, they turn into an evil tar slime, which, if I did it now, would then just destroy and eat every slime that was in the farm. So you're actively discouraged from letting them wander around, which is a pity, because it's quite nice to see them wandering around. But anyway, that's a very quick look at Slime Rancher. And a special mention for the main menu, which is great. I just love watching it. It's like a little screensaver. You start off with just a couple of slimes, and then more slimes start raining down from the sky. And this is a good place to see some of the different types of slimes that you might not see. Ah, there's a blue rock slime. There's a blue rock slime there. There's a tabby slime. And the longer you stay in the menu, the more different types of slimes you get. So now I'm seeing types of slimes that I just haven't got to in the world yet, because I haven't un unlocked the right areas. But there we go. That was a quick look at Slime Rancher. <laughs>